Hello, hello. It's your boy St. Uno. Back again for another one. On a beautiful Friday after evening. And just want to do a quick little video today on... Oh, shit, I forgot the topic. This is like the first time I performed a song. I just completely blanked out in front of this fucking audience. And then I'm freestyle. It was like cheesy freestyle, so it was like cool. It was like funny, but it wasn't like good. Um, so you know what I'm saying? You gotta make the most of shit. <laughs> but no, I, I remember what the topic was. It was, oh yeah, it's not, um, no, it's not, it's not all bad. It's all good. I was gonna say it's not all bad, which is the same thing. No, that's, cause that's negative. It's all good. That's, it's really not the same thing. It's all good is light years better than it's not all bad. That's, that's still focusing on the negative, right? All right. So, um, yeah, in the vein of like a lot of shit I talk about. It's like t like taking stuff that we take for granted, right? Like everyday colloquiums, but actually like digging deep inside of them and, and like realizing that like, oh, we should not take these things for granted. These are actually gold mines for us to live our lives by and really manifest some shit. Not even just for manifesting, but just for like maintaining mental health and just having a better experience, right? That's what it's about, right? Like, don't you just want a better experience? Isn't that why you watch YouTube content? That's why I watch that's why I do anything. Like I listen, whatever music I listen to is because you know what I'm saying it makes me feel better or makes me think better. When I'm watching shit on YouTube, it's like to make my life better. So and I like emulate that and put my own shit out so I can put my own imprint on the world because I want the world to look more like what I want it to look like and less like what I don't want it to look like. So I don't spend time attacking shit and being negative. I just put out what I want to see more of. So I want to see more, you know, quote unquote, good game and inspiration and like just. People being themselves, authenticity in the world. So I'm gonna put that out. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. It's um, it's all good, really. What does this mean, right? <clears throat> like we've all heard somebody say, "Oh, it's all good." Like it's all good. Like if stuff's going bad, you be like, "It's all good," just to kind of like cheer somebody up and makes people realize it's not that serious or whatever. But I had a like kind of an epiphany today when I was like, "No, it's really all good." When you think about I think about, okay, if you think about your life and like the types of experiences you have, if you just had to be black and white and put them in the boxes, you'd be like, this is a good experience or a bad experience about anything in life. It could be about a meal, that was good, bad a relationship. It could be about, you know, we always are on this dichotomous good, bad, which isn't, you know, right per se, but it's, it's convenient and it's what we do, right? But really, it dawned on me, I was like, no, it's really all good. Because when you think about it, let's say you have a good experience, boom, and that was good. You went to a restaurant and it was good food there. All right, that's a good thing. So now you got something good. But even in the bad, it's like you go to a restaurant and you have a terrible shitty meal. Well, like now you know to never go to that restaurant again. Now you know to like never take a date there. You know what I'm saying? Now you know, like you've gotten information that you didn't have before, which is ultimately good. And that's just a kind of minor example. It can get, like usually on a, on a grander scale, the more, like there's that saying, experience is what you get when you don't get what you wanted. Like that's the fucking truth. And that's basically what I'm saying here. It's like, so in this, in this world, in this universe, like experiences are either A, what we wanted them to be, when we get what we wanted, or B, we get experience from them to learn from. And that's like, like all good. So when you think about it, it's like, okay, that's literally all good. Like, and then that, that mentality of knowing it's all good helps you in everyday situations. So now when stuff does go wrong and cause it's, it's easy when shit goes wrong in um, everyday life to get mad and be like, oh, or get down and beat yourself up and feel like you're being punished and feel like you need to change something. Right. When it's, but if you, if you understand that, no, like, when bad stuff happens or I, bad experiences or whatever, it's all good, aka meaning like, okay, that takes my that takes you out of victim mentality instantly, and it's like, all right, if I know this is all good, then you instantly start looking for like the gym in every shitty crummy situation, and then that kind of in turn just makes all situations just not as bad and not as crummy because a they're either what you want and you get something positive from them and experience, or you're always in the mode of like, all right, like. I'm tackling this head on and I'm gonna find the lesson in it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna find the gym here. Every cloud has a silver lining, another cliche, you know what I'm saying? So like, just keep that in mind. Like it's really all good. Next time you're going through some bullshit, 
Man, I can't, like, you learn through all the bullshit, taking those podcasts. I'm going to do a little, you know what I'm saying, drop a little promo in here. But, like, that's that's the basis of it, right? It's like, like without the bad stuff, you wouldn't learn anything, like, just from the base. Like, I remember, like, when I was a kid, like, I touched the iron and my fucking burned the fuck out of my, my finger. Had to ice it. It, was, it felt terrible, you know what I'm saying? Like, that whole day, I was just like, fuck, just in pain, you know what I'm saying? But, like, on a re- very basic level, when I was, like, I didn't know not to touch hot shit. Like, I didn't know, like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, if I didn't have that experience of touching the hot, who knows? I would have, oh, let me, let me climb in the oven, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it sounds basic and dumb, and, like, you take it for granted because it's, like, something basic. But, no, that's, like, you can translate that to any experience. Like, any time something is pushing you out of your comfort zone or, like, hurting you or making you feel a negative, negative emotions are just a, it's like, wake up, nigga! It's just something to slap you that gets your attention so you can find out, okay, what do I need to correct? What do I need to not do to make this happen again? Or what is this teaching me about myself that I'm neglecting? Or there's always a gym. There's always a gym. It's literally, it's all good. It's all good. And when you have that mentality, man, it really, it starts to be even more all good. And you're still going to go through bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You're still going to go through bullshit, of course, but then it's not bullshit. It's just, it's just learning and it's all good. And I don't want to make like a little disclaimer because I, you know, I might sound insensitive saying like, it's all good. Like maybe something happens and it's just too like very, you know, traumatic and horrible. And it's like, no, this nigga just ain't never been through nothing. Like he don't know, like some shit ain't good. I'm not saying like, it's like, okay, yeah, that's true, but Am I wrong for also saying that adopting that mentality, even when something completely tragic and terrible happens, like, are, are you, when, if something like that, God forbid, does happen in your life, is it going to become better if you don't think it's all good? If you say, no, this is bad, and I'm a victim, and this is, like, that's, taking on victim mentality never actually benefits you moving forward or produces anything good in your life. So just off of the the bare fact of like being utilitarian, like it's all good is just, in my opinion, a better way to look at any situation, even if it's, and I know fucked up shit happens, but maybe there's just a grander logic. Sometimes you just got to chalk it up and be like, you know what, maybe I just can't understand this right now, but maybe in, you know, some years or maybe even some lifetimes, you never really know what's being set up so i just i don't see a a any negatives or any i don't see you so jamming yourself up ever thinking that like something is not all good or think this is all going to work out um because usually when something really 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 bad happens i'm not gonna say usually but like i'll speak from personal experience when something really really fucked up happens it's just the all good might just be all right I, i might just need to stay away from this type of place this type of person this type of thinking at like just complete separation into some new shit because there was nothing positive or good about a certain situation just the fact that it's nothing good and no silver lining there at all can still be a silver lining with the the idea of it's all good because if there's no good there then you need to just shift your focus somewhere else completely and entirely and maybe you couldn't do that without going through something very very traumatic and it was the only thing to shift your focus to what you needed to be. Sh- and then you might not understand that for years, but I don't know. I do know. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. So, um, yeah. Uh, uh, I've, I've, I've been adopting that mentality. And, of course, I get negative, you know, like, like anyone else. But I'm going to keep saying it's all good. And then that, that, that takes my mind from, all right, this sucks. I'm a victim. So, you know what? It's all good. This is probably, what's, what's the lesson here? Boom. Ah, oh, that's the lesson. I sh- I'm going to move like this now. You know what I'm saying? Peace up. A-Town down.